What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a new portable power station. This is the All Powers R600. Taking a look at the specs, this has a 299 watt hour LiPo 4 battery, a 600 watt power handling with a peak of 1200 watts, a 220 watt solar charging input, UPS function with a 10 millisecond switch over time, and is very lightweight at only 12.34 pounds. Taking a look at the power station itself, this is definitely a nice and modern looking unit. I know a lot of power stations out there look very ugly and look like they belong in the 90s, but thankfully we do not have that problem with all powers. Their whole entire lineup right now pretty much looks exactly like this one, except they just get bigger and bigger as you go up in the watt hour capacity. When you're shopping for a power station, one thing I wanna say is make sure you think about how you plan to use it and get one according to that. If you need to do heavy duty tasks, then you want to get something bigger. But if you want something very small and portable, that's when you'll go with something like this one instead. As I said earlier, this can handle 600 watts, which can power a good amount of things, which is pretty impressive. I'm not sure if you can see how small this is on camera, but here's my phone right here. And this is definitely a very small unit. So definitely looking forward to using this one when I don't feel like lugging around my larger units. All right, so taking a look at the power station, up top you have this nice carrying handle which folds out of the way when you're not using it. Then up top you also have a wireless charger and this is a 15 watt fast charger as well. Definitely a cool thing to have on a power station as it gives you one less cable to carry. So just do whatever you gotta do with the power station. Then when you need to charge, just put your phone on top and it'll easily charge just like that. So taking a look at the front, as you can see, we have a color screen in the middle. It also has very good contrast as well. So you could take this outdoors and still be able to read that very easily. One thing I like about these power stations from all powers is they tend to put a lot of covers in all their ports. So this way they can stay nice and clean. You don't gotta worry about dirt or grime getting in there. Or if you have kids, you don't gotta worry about them touching them or putting something in there either. The only thing I don't like is these three have covers and the USB ports don't. So on feature models, I would like to see them cover this part as well. So taking a look at the ports right here, you have a car cigarette DC port, which can do 10 amps. Right down here, you get two AC outlets. And then last but not least, you have two USB-C ports, which are 100 watts each. And then down here, you have two USB-A ports, which are 18 watts each. A lot of smaller power stations only have 40 or 60 watt USB-C ports. So it's good to see that this one has those 100 watt ports. And then up top here, you have a flashlight. And this has low mode, high mode, and then SOS mode. It's not the brightest light, but it's definitely more than good enough if you need some light outdoors to read or see something. And then coming to the side, you have your charging ports, which also have a cover as well. One thing I hate about a lot of smaller power stations is they usually have a separate charging brick. But as you can see, this one does not have that issue and all you need is a standard three prong cable. Next to this, you have your circuit reset button. And then last but not least, you have your solar charging input. Another cool feature about this power station is it does have app connectivity. So instead of messing with everything here in front of the power station, you can just do it all from the app instead. So looking at the app, up top you have your battery percentage, you have your watts that are going in and out, and then you can also turn on or off different parts of the power station as well. Going into the settings, up top you have three different charging modes. You have mute mode, standard mode, and fast mode. As you go up, it'll charge faster, but the power station will also start making some noise with the fan. So if you want it completely silent, you just set it on mute mode, and it'll charge basically with the fan off. Even on fast mode, I must say, this is definitely a very quiet unit. Some of these power stations have a very loud fan that have sort of a high pitch whine to it. But this one on high mode basically sounds like a regular household fan that you have set on low. It's barely even noticeable at all. So personally, I would just leave it on fast mode all the time. And then right down here, you have eco mode, which is basically an auto shut off timer. So if you're using the power station for something, say it's charging something and you step away, Normally the power station would stay on and just from being on that'll waste power. But with this one, you don't have to worry about it as you can set it to auto shut off with that timer and you can set it from anywhere from one to six hours. All right, so I drained this power station from 100% to zero using about a 500 watt load and it put out a total of 263 watt hours. Doing the math that gives this unit a usable capacity of 88%. Most power stations put out about 80 to 85% on average. So this is definitely better than most other units. 
Despite the AC inverter shutting off, it did say there was 5% left, so it looks like it has a safety feature that does not let you run it all the way down to zero. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the inverter. As I said earlier, this has a 600 watt power handling with a peak of 1200 watts. 600 watts may not sound like a lot, but you can definitely do a lot of things with that kind of power. So let's go ahead and hook up a few things here and see how much it draws. All right, so first up, let me go ahead and put my phone on top. My battery's almost full, so as you can see, it's only charging about 10 watts. Next up, I have a Bluetooth speaker. That doesn't draw much either, so I only bumped it up to 20 watts. I got my MacBook Pro. Now that's drawing about 75 watts. Let me go ahead and plug in this power bank as well. All right, so I have all of that going. As you can see, it's barely pulling a little over 120 watts. These all have high battery right now, so if they were low battery, it would probably pull closer to 2 to 250. But just to recap, that's a Bluetooth speaker, a power bank, a phone, and a laptop as well. So when it comes to USB devices, this is definitely going to handle anything you throw at it. When it comes to household things, you should be able to run a 12-volt fridge with this. And then I have a mini fridge, and that only draws about 350 watts. So this should also run that no problem at all. Overall, this is going to be great for road trips, camping, or even handling light duty tasks during a power outage as well. So one other thing I got from All Powers is this 200 watt flexible solar panel. This one is model SF200. This is going to be a very good and portable panel to use. I have two of these, but the other one's still in the box, so I just have this one. This is a very light panel. You can see it's very flexible as well. Very thin, it only weighs nine pounds in total, whereas the other panels, the folding panels, usually somewhere around 22 pounds, I believe. So very lightweight. With two of these, I should be able to get somewhere about, I'm assuming about three, 350 watts, something like that. I did test this one out already, and I was able to get on a very good sunny day, 180 watts. This is a 200 watt panel, so overall, very good efficiency. So definitely a good uh, solar panel to look at if you need something for the top of your RV or like in my case to throw on top of your shed or your roof. Just overall a nice and sturdy panel. And like I said, one of my favorite features is how uh, incredibly light it is. So if you need to put it back in your house and take it out every now and then, it's not going to be such a large hassle to move around. Overall, this is definitely a great little power station. Despite being small and lightweight, it's still a very capable unit. So if you happen to be shopping for a small power station, I would highly recommend this one here, which again is the R600 from All Powers. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.